I've come out to Lincoln South Common on this cool, really dark night to try to get some photos of some fireworks that are going to go off at the Lincoln City football ground at about 7 o'clock this evening. I've got about 15 or 20 minutes to get myself organised to get set up. My plan is I'm going to use this Canon 400D to try to get these fireworks shots and really just to test myself to make it a little bit harder for me. The fireworks are going off at the at Lincoln City football ground. They're a uh, quite a, a big club in, in English football. They're in League One. They're not in the Premier League, but they are in League One, so they are quite a, a, a big club. And in the past, they've had firework displays. And about two or three weeks ago, I got a leaflet through my door telling me that there's going to be a display on at seven o'clock this evening, starting at, at the football ground. So I've come up to the South Common and I'm up a hill. So I am quite far away from the fireworks, from the football ground, but I'm hoping that the fireworks obviously they're going to go high in the sky and i have lots and lots of scope to take some photos and hopefully you can follow along and see just how well i do taking these photos i also have the cathedral in the background now all lit up splendidly as it normally is fantastic sight day or night it's amazing and unfortunately the fireworks don't go anywhere near the cathedral some people set off fireworks in from their gardens and you sometimes get a flash and a bang uh, as I'm hearing now, uh, but it's it, it's not predictable, so hit and miss, and the fireworks are often small. Of course, in the UK, we celebrate Bonfire Night every 5th of November, and that's because we celebrate the capture or the, the thwarting of the gunpowder plot, which took place in, in the 1500s, and uh, a, a gentleman called John Gatsby, John Winter, and Cohen, a chap called Guy Fawkes, who, who sort of, he's got the main headline, attempted to blow up the Houses of Parliament and obviously kill all the MPs inside. Since that, that for, for what is it now, four, nearly 500 years, we've been, we've been lighting a bonfire every 5th of November. And of course, more recently, in the last sort of 50 odd years, since fireworks have become uh, quite easy to get, uh, people have been not only setting off bonfires, but also fireworks. You don't see many bonfires these days, but you really do see lots of fireworks. And actually, more so these days they're, they're organised displays than people setting them off in their gardens but that still happens quite a lot you still see lots of fireworks go off in people's gardens and last year I walked around the part of Lincoln where I live and I, I took some shots in my tripod and, and got some from people's houses so it's really pot luck um, but yeah hopefully you can follow along and you'll see how I do with these fireworks and the Canon 400D which is going to be a bit of a challenge for me, but I'm sure I'm going to rise to, the, to, to, to it. These are just fireworks going off at someone's house, I think, or maybe they look a bit big for a house display. My simple guide to firework photography in a, in a nutshell is you've really got to set your camera to manual. Obviously, you can't do any automatic set or modes. Uh, you've really got to have a long exposure because you need to open your shutter long enough to be able to capture the fireworks. So for me... What I'm going to do, I'm going to go for an average f-stop, so I'm going to go around about f8, and I'm going to set the exposure for potentially 20 or 30 seconds. I'm going to try and keep the ISO as low as I can, because obviously I don't want lots of grain in the sky, but if I have to go up a little bit, I will. But my ISO will be base if I can do it, and I'll set the shutter speed. I'll set the shutter go, and I'll just wait for uh, 20 or 30 seconds. I'll set it to 20 or 30 seconds. I'll check what the exposure looks like. And that's it. That's really it. And the, the key to firework photography is in the edit. You've got to try and trim down the highlights and uh, make sure that you're not blowing out your highlights. And one, if you've done that, you're going to always guarantee to get a good photo. Obviously, you want to focus pretty much where, where the fireworks are going to be. So ideally, you want something in the foreground. Obviously, fireworks in the sky are, are fine. They look good. They look great. But if there's nothing giving it any depth there's nothing in the foreground it just is a firework in the sky it's great it's, it's brill but it's not quite as good as it could be if say for instance you've got a football stadium sort of in the foreground in uh, uh, so that you can get a bit of uh, depth in the picture so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to set up the cannon on the tripod and i'm going to just wait now it's just a few minutes before uh, the, the show starts and hopefully I'll, I'll take some shots and i'll show you those at the end
I've set the focus on the Canon and then I've set it to manual because I don't want the camera to hunt around for focus. I just want it to have, be set and once I press it, that's it, done. And that 20, 30 seconds is going to be my focus. The challenge is the Canon has got a 10 second timer and obviously if I press the timer, wait for 10 seconds, then the fireworks may well have gone. So I'm just going to have to go with it. I'm on soft ground. I'm on, a, I'm on a, an embankment high up in the in the, on the back of the common and i've got my tripod all at a wonky angle but i'm just gonna have to press the button and hope for the best that's the first picture taken so i don't know what this is going to come out like i'm on the d the 400d so i'll have a look now i've taken a few shots already with the olympus in live comp mode which is a bit of a cheat because what that enables me to do it's just set my shutter speed and any new light that it sees, it just adds to the picture. So in a sense, with the Olympus, you just can't fail taking fireworks. You just cannot fail. It's, well, if I fail, then, you know, that's a bit of a shame for me. The challenge with the 400D is that I've gone for a 30 second exposure and I really can't, you know, I have to, it's a guess, it's a guessing game. So I press the button and just hope that the fireworks in the sky light the picture and I get a good shot. The other challenge I've got, I haven't got a long lens with the Canon, so I'm having to rely on the kit lens and just getting me 55 mil. Where on the Olympus, I've got my 40 to 150 and I'm able to get right in close to the fireworks. So that's what I'm trying to do now. So I'm gonna get back to it now before they all finish and we'll have a look at the end. They look spectacular. Standing where I am now, watching these fireworks go off, they look amazing. I really hope the videos pick them up. Families tend to have their displays early, of course, because they, they want the children to be able to watch the fireworks. So they have them on early, and they usually finish early, so that, that obviously the young little kiddies can go to bed. And obviously, we don't want these fireworks going off all through the night and keeping the children up. Uh, over the last sort of 10, 20 years or so, it has become quite a menace where between at least the first week or two before bonfire night sort of you, you tend to see fireworks go off you hit, tend to hear them in the streets where obviously the youth of the world have been letting them off but more recently that's calmed down a bit and you don't hear so many out and in fact this this sort of bonfire weekend i, I only heard patches of them some people have them on friday saturday and sunday throughout the weekend it depends but tonight it's clear it's dry Whereas last night it was raining all day and all evening, so it, it kind of dampened the spirits down. But today's perfect. There's a light breeze which is blowing the smoke away nicely, uh, and I think it's just ideal um, for the fireworks. Thanks very much indeed for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's been interesting. And uh, yeah, if you have liked it, why not like it? Why not like the video? And if you like this sort of content, this photography content I, I'm creating, then I'd be super pleased if you would subscribe to the channel. That'd be fantastic. And, uh, and e either way, thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio.